Yes, it's Tales from the Jails with John G. Sutton. Do please like and subscribe. It really helps, you know. I mean, I'm trying to get this uh, channel going a little bit. Seems to be doing okay. And thanks to you, it'll do better. So please like, okay? And maybe subscribe, okay? Right, okay, here we go. I'm going to talk today about uh, an article on Radio 4 this morning, BBC Radio 4, where they interviewed the former prisons minister, a guy called Rory Stewart. And Rory Stewart was the prisons minister under Theresa May. And he was discussing the uh, the problems of the prison system and how he, when he was prisons minister, made an attempt to uh, correct this. But of course, there's no money for prisons. And uh, one mistake he did make was he said that uh, today we've got 87,000 prisoners in the prison system that was built by the Victorians to hold 63,000. That just simply isn't the case. I mean, there were certainly nowhere near that amount of prisoners in in uh, the Victorian times. When I was in the prison service, when I was at Wormwood Scrubs in 1975, the actual total number of inmates in the entire UK prison system was approximately 38,000. That can be checked. So the idea that there was 63,000 in Victorian times is not correct. I mean, let's face it, at one point we were shipping them out to uh, Australia. And also, this is a little known fact, did you know that America was at one time a prison colony? That they had prison settlements in America? And that uh, the, the British Empire was shipping out uh, unwanted, I mean, we're talking about People who were committing offences like sheep stealing, yeah, and poaching on the Lord of the uh, Lord of the Land, uh, you know, shooting deer and trapping pheasants, etc. Uh, Ship them abroad to America for that. Mm, that's maybe why they're so good at hunting, eh? Well, it could be. Mm, anyway, yeah. So we had uh, Rory Stewart on BBC Radio Four Today program this morning. You can listen to it back. It'll be on BBC iPlayer. It's about eight fifteen this morning. He was on. Made a lot of sense. Sounds good. He's got a new book out and a new series called uh, the, the Long History of Ignorance. It seems to me quite interesting. Anyway, uh, also on uh, the BBC programme today, we had uh, Giles Brandreath offering his sixpenneth on uh, why we've got so many people in prison. Well, let me tell you a little bit of something else that's in the news today. Uh, a particular lady in, in Leeds, Bradford, Leeds, that area, she got on a plane coming back from her holidays was drunk and abusive and referred to uh, one of the cabin staff in a derogatory manner and uh, for that she was arrested taken off the plane at Leeds airport and in court she was sentenced to four months imprisonment how is that going to do anything for that particular lady or anything to serve society you've got to ask yourself that I mean, Rory Stewart was was correct today when he said there's too many people in prison. Giles Brandreath, who is, by the way, an extremely erudite intellectual, uh, he was the former chief whip of the uh, Tory party, the Conservatives, and uh, he's written a number of books, some of them uh, based on, on, you know, understanding the English language and etymology, which I particularly like. So he's a brilliant man, is Giles Brandreath, and he got pretty well to the to the point when he was saying there's no point in stacking all these people into prison if there is no rehabilitation and let's face it three to a cell locked in 23 hours a day what are you trying to help people do sleep learning them how to sleep there's a thing no i don't believe that it works nobody believes that it works rory stewart didn't believe it worked but he didn't have enough time sufficient time to actually do anything about it but we've got a new guy as i said james timpson he's faced with a massive massive task here but as as giles boundary said today prison is not the answer there has to be separation from society 
for certain groups of offenders. That's uh, serious sex offenders, uh, extremely violent people, bank robbers. We don't get many of them these days, do we? Uh, terrorists, etc. They have to be segregated from society. So let, let's do what Lord Mountbatten said in the Mountbatten Report of 1968, which, by the way, is available at your local library if you request. And Lord Mountbatten recommended that we create a massive uh, prison, top security prison, call, and he called it the Vectus, V-E-C-T-U-S, Vectus. He said we put all the dangerous prisoners in there and all the rest are held in peripheral jails, but the Category A inmates, the really seriously dangerous inmates, must be segregated from society do so in a manner so they cannot escape. Something like uh, an Alcatraz on a Scottish island or something like that. And, and, and listen, the, the inmates are saying, well, if you put me up there, my wife and family can't visit. You should have thought about that before you actually undertook a life of serious crime. And uh, that's going to be the only way we can do it. And as for rehabilitating uh, offenders, putting some drunken woman into prison for four months just because she got pissed and swore at one of the cabin crew isn't going to help anybody. It isn't going to deter people who get drunk because people get drunk. I mean, I personally can't stand the idea of drinking alcohol before getting on a plane. Nope. If we're going to crash, I want to be awake so I can get out there and swim for it. No, I never would, would I? Too old now, I'd just go straight down to Davy Jones' locker. Anyway, that's my little rant for today. It's no use building all these inner prisons in, in, in mainland Britain. Build a massive, I don't know, 20,000 uh, capacity prison on an island a remote island off the shore of Britain, staff it on, a, on a, a basis so that the staff get properly paid. I suggest that in today's rate, £50,000 a year, and you do two weeks on and two weeks off. But you reside on the island. Then you come off and you go back to your family for two weeks, then back to the island, yeah? And the, at the end of that, you get a proper civil service pension, as it is today, and uh, you, you, you're you paid in accordance with uh, the, the cost of living so that your, your wage will always remain at roundabout worth what it is today. And I think that £50,000 starting rate, plus if you've got to work all the time, you would get that at a proportionate rate. But what they're doing today is they're, they're employing little girls, seriously, 18-year-old girls, the hostess system, You've got to get a grip of this. James Timpson, listen to John here. And if you've got my, you've got my number, don't tell me you haven't, because I've got a file with MI5. Just ask MI5 to contact John G. Sutton. And I know you've got a file with MI5, because I know the officer that wrote it. <laughs> yeah, because he was a, a, a chief inspector with Greater Manchester Police. Uh, a colleague of my brother's who was an inspector in the same unit, but he wasn't with MI5, my brother, but this guy was. Now listen, it's that time of day, folks. I hope you're enjoying this, by the way. Do forget to like and subscribe, and uh, for all of those of you who are worried that I'm going to start bursting into song or reciting poetry with, with, without giving you a warning, well, I've found a song dinger. Ding dong! Round one. Larry's out the corner now. He's coming forward. Oops! He's bit the dust. The goat's the winner. Larry's done a, a Jackson Pollock. And he's splattered all over the canvas. Larry lives near uh, Rotherham in... Uh, well, I think it's Greater Manchester now. And he keeps goats. He's got a pet goat. I'll show you a picture of his pet goat one of these days. We're secret members of the Pet Goat Club. So I'm going to sing to you now. I've rung the song ding. If you didn't hear it, there it is again. Yeah, it's a song ding, a warning. Here we go. 
I'm, I'm going to sing you a song now. This is uh, an Elvis Presley song, one of his first ones, actually. It was released by Elvis in 1954, I think. Well, not properly released. It was recorded by him at Sun Studios uh, with a guy called Sam Phillips. Uh, and uh, the, the main side was called My Happiness, and the other side was uh, something like this. If you find your sweetheart in the arms of a friend, that's when your heartaches begin. Love is a thing for you never can share. If you find your friend in your love affair well that's the end of your sweetheart that's the end of your friend and that's when your heart aches begin bum 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 there you go a little song there you probably all buggered off by now because you can't stand the singing Neither can my wife. She thinks I've got a rotten singing voice. Anyway, thanks very much for watching Tales from the Jails. I'll be back soon. Do like and subscribe. And leave me some comments. Insults, I don't mind.